Hello everybody, welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today we are continuing our coverage of CES 2015. I am at the show floor here in Las Vegas with none other than Todd from Qualcomm. Todd, how are you today, sir? Good, Steve, thanks. Excellent. So I know that Qualcomm has released uh, uh, some new chips that are taking advantage of some new technologies you guys have been working on. And I, I just want to know, I, I see a couple of different uh, uh, routers behind me. If you could just speak to me a little bit about maybe the newest, greatest thing that you guys have created. Yeah, great, be happy to. Yeah, Excellent. one of the things we're, uh, we're very excited about is next generation Wi-Fi, 11AC, particularly with a feature we call multi-user MIMO. Excellent. It's a standards-based feature, right. but what's exciting about this new feature is for the first time now we have an ability to make uh, Wi-Fi networks more efficient. So right. it's not just about going faster, it's about how do we provide a better experience to these crowded networks. Absolutely, I mean, right? so often it, you just get, you, you hear it over and over again, oh, faster, better, faster, better, but the reality is, as you and I discussed prior, you really want to make sure that the efficiency of the network is there, and specifically the number of users that are using it, right? Yes. And the speed of those users as well. But please continue. Yeah, no, it's 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 true. Wi-Fi has become so popular and prevalent in our lives, right? It's in our it's in our phones, it's in our tablets, our yeah. computers, our televisions. The fact is, whether you're at home or at work, the chances are there are more devices vying for airtime on right. that wireless AP. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And so. The problem we find is that more and more people are experiencing, like for example, you know when you go to an airport and you've got 50 other people trying to get onto that access point, yeah. you all get a sliver of airtime, right? And yeah. sometimes the experience is not so great. Yeah. Right? Well, that's how Wi-Fi has worked traditionally. That access point serves clients one at a time. And if you're one out of 50, well, there are 49 guys ahead of you in line, and right? And waiting, and it's just and cycling waiting. over and over again. So multi-user MIMO now gives us a capability to talk to multiple devices in one time slot. So two, three, or four guys, we can now group together and talk to them at one time. So it makes the whole network more efficient. Absolutely. And uh, again, ultimately makes the use case or the, the user experience better. Absolutely, and so you obviously want to make sure that the if your your client side is also matching that same standard, therefore you can take full advantage of it. But as we as we right. said earlier, you really get the advantage without that as well. If you have an older device that doesn't take advantage of that, you could still have it connected, and the routers will automatically sidestep it to one of those those channels and set it up for its own MIMO sidestep. Or it, it, it basically separates. Uh, if, let's say you have two options, yep. right? put everything on a slow lane and then everything else on the fast lane. So the slower products, they're going to go at the speed that they can go at, their maximum speed. And right. it'll do the round robin with them. And then the other side, the faster products, they're going to take full advantage and be faster because they're not waiting on the slower ones. That's right, that's a great summary. And, and in fact, Qualcomm is pushing out a complete ecosystem of products, both for access points right on the infrastructure side of the network, as well as a whole range of client side devices for phones, tablets, PCs, even connected cars. And awesome. the idea is, is that over time, the more multi-user capable clients you have on the network, those guys get to take advantage of this higher efficiency. But yeah, for those older devices that are going to still be around on networks for years to come, the advantage they get is the time we save in serving these MU clients, we can donate back to the legacy network, right? Nice. They get that more airtime. So, yeah, it's a feature that actually makes, over time, the entire network and all devices work better. Excellent. And make sure you talk to all the hotels here in the Las Vegas area, too, please. Because <laughs> the hotel Wi-Fi and all of you YouTubers know that are here at CES that it's so horrendous. But that's the case at every convention, right? <laughs> we'll do so, that. We'll excellent. definitely do that. So I've also heard a rumor that you might actually have some 11 AD that you might be uh, dem demoing here. That's right. So, so we talked about more capacity, right? right? So we're looking ahead, right? right. Uh, and so beyond 11 AC, which is operating in the 5 gigahertz band, uh, there is a new standard in the 802.11 Wi-Fi family called 11AD. And what 11AD does is it opens up a new frequency band way up at 60 gigahertz. It's a, it's a microwave frequency, but what's beneficial there is there's a lot of available spectrum. So we're showing samples of our initial chipsets for the 11AD standard. Very cool. This promises multi-gigabit per second capacity. So, Excellent. you know, I hope we're here next year. Yes. Not only showing you MU MIMO in two bands, but routers that now have an 11AD 60 gigahertz band support as well. That's awesome. Can we actually take a look at it real quick? I want to yeah. see it. Let's go take a look. Awesome.
So on top of everything else you, you're doing right now with MU MIMO for, uh, for 5 gigahertz band, of course there's the new 60 gigahertz band that we just spoke about. And I'm really excited about this because I haven't seen 11 AD yet. So uh, please, Todd, take it away. Yeah, no, this is brand new. So like we said, uh, 11AD is the new standard in Wi-Fi. It's operating at a very high frequency, 60 gigahertz. Uh, it has the advantage of even higher capacities, right? Multiple gigabits per second uh, are possible. And uh, we're showing some examples. Here's a, uh, you know, our first sample of a device, very small, you can see, uh, would fit nicely into your next generation mobile phone or tablet. Absolutely. Uh, and so wow. what we're envisioning are applications where, uh, you know, as, as people tend to uh, now generate user content, photos, videos, they can share those very quickly uh, from mobile phone to mobile phone or tablet to tablet. So there's kind of a sharing aspect in media and gaming. Nice. Uh, but we also have kind of an, uh, an interesting uh, application we're showing where 60 gigahertz can be used in a, a kiosk for example, you might find in a, in a hotel lobby or a train station or airport, you know, as you're heading out on a trip and you want a book or a magazine or a movie to watch, uh, you can literally walk up to this device and select the content you want. And then over 60 gigahertz, rather than taking minutes, maybe even 10 minutes or more to transfer that file to you, yeah. it can transfer that movie to your pad in a matter of seconds. I mean, I, we just watched you download a 500 megabyte file, file in literally a few seconds. That's I mean, right. that was so fast. Yeah. So I know that one of the limitations of AD, being that it's a higher frequency, is that the distance is limited, right? So obviously, a use for something like this, or maybe in just a single room in your household, or multiple, depending on how many APs you want to set up, or maybe a bigger, larger room like the, the show floor here, that clearly makes sense. Uh, on top of that, as we were speaking about um, efficiency earlier, it's incredibly efficient because it's so fast on top of that. That's right, that's right. And yeah, I mean the technology at 60 gigahertz won't propagate as far, but it's beautiful for an in-room coverage. Uh, imagine this on a train platform or in an airport. Okay. If you're within 10 or 20 meters of the uh, kiosk, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get a very high connect rate, download your media, upload photos. So again, it's, Think of it as now a third band of Wi-Fi. So, uh, you know, we tri -band think routers we see, coming soon. Tri-band router soon. <laughs> so we see it as another way to continue that message of you know more capacity on the network to do more things nice. uh, with your clients. So once again, these aren't out yet, but you are test betting this technology in, in where right. again? Paris, was it? Well, so we have examples of this going into customers' products around the world. This wow. is an example of a kiosk that's being field trialed in Europe. Wow. And uh, yeah. Like you said, this is brand new technology. Uh, expect to see some products probably here next year, if not sooner, with 60 gigahertz inside. That'll be fantastic. Todd, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. All right. I really appreciate it. Thanks, thank Steve. You, no problem. Thank you guys also for watching, and stay tuned for more of our CES 2015 coverage.